many times I have faced this problem like uh, parents they don't understand what to look for what is epilepsy they ask me this question how would we know that uh, this is a seizure or this is normal activity and it does happen particularly in the in a newborn or a small children where these children they do lots of uh, new activities every day and for new parents particularly for the working parents where you know they are not living in a joint family uh, first time they become parents so it is really difficult for them to find out uh, these are the normal movement of the child or these are the abnormal movement and you should worry about them so today in this video it's a small video and i will talk about uh, various signs of uh, uh, epilepsy in children how it presents and how early you can catch them so that uh, you could make a appropriate diagnosis and start the treatment and that makes the whole difference in the outcome of the child because if epilepsy goes untreated it can not only have a problem in itself but it can also have an impact on your memory intellect learning capabilities so on and so forth so and the end i will tell you a summary of all the signs that you could look for if you have any suspicion of epilepsy in your child epilepsy varies a lot in young babies newborn and older children unlike adult like you know that uh, they have some classical type of seizures in pediatric the type of epilepsy is, is very dynamic and is extremely variable so we we'll talk about some subtle seizures in a newborn period newborn children it is difficult to recognize even sometimes doctors find it difficult so they can have some cycling movement of legs which could be normal which could be abnormal so during your abnormal movement many times it does happen the child will not respond appropriately if you look at the child the child would smile back and say two three months old child but if the child is having some abnormal movement uh, as a part of epileptic event child will not respond to you in most of the scenario child may cry with that abnormal movement some children they do movement like this you know this is classical we call it slam attack if you uh, look at google or we call it infantile spasm usually uh, starts uh, after 4 5 months of age and it's pretty devastating condition that way you know if it goes unrecognized it can cause a lot of problems uh, particularly it is taken uh, uh, mistaken in, in in fact you know as infantile colic because child does like this lift his legs up arms up and it looks like he has some pain in the abdomen but it is uh, not that way you know it is basically epilepsy so that should be looked into other times you know the basic thing uh, in epilepsy it could be simply shaking of body whole body shaking or maybe sometimes a part of the one arm is shaking or sometimes eyes twitching you know one eyes are rolling up you know and child is not responding or there could be sometimes twitching you know of one eye twitching of mouth sometimes you know frothing from mouth so lots of uh, these symptoms could be uh, indicative of epilepsy and interestingly uh, there are certain epilepsies you know where it becomes very very difficult like you know a recurrent episodes of vomiting sometimes sometimes headache it could be simple vomiting it could be simple headache or migraine but it could also be part of epilepsy so that needs to be looked at uh, properly if your child is having these problems pretty frequently and the uh, uh, child is not uh, keeping well with the academics his scholastic performance is going down uh, it could be epilepsy other epilepsies uh, sometimes you know you would have seen children daydreaming it is common for all children uh, but uh, there is epilepsy called absence epilepsy in which child goes blank you are talking to the child and suddenly child will just freeze like that maybe 5 seconds 10 seconds before he gets back to normal uh, but the problem is with this 5 or 10 second gap whatever you are doing child will not remember those 5 or 10 seconds will disappear from his life if the child is uh, studying in a classroom and the teacher is doing some lectures or something you know and uh, you go blank for 10 seconds then it breaks the rhythm so we come to know about these children when they are deteriorating in their scholastic performance so maybe it takes about few months you know for parents to recognize that there is some problem and then we dwell deep into that we come to know that this is absence epilepsy 
which is very much treatable if we give the right medication. So I would briefly summarize these uh, signs of epilepsy in children. So shaking of all body or any body part, twitching of eyes, twitching of mouth, child going, going blank, there is recurrent vomiting or headache, some frothing from mouth or eye uprolling, any of these signs, not all signs would appear in a single child. Any of these signs, if you see, it could be epilepsy and most likely it is going to be epilepsy. It, you must show your nearest uh, child neurologist to uh, examine the child properly and then uh, uh, the doctor will advise you what to do. He may ask for some investigations, particularly EEG, that is a brainwave test. And depending upon that, he may or may not ask for uh, MRI scan or CT scan and then the appropriate treatment would be started depending upon what comes out to be. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please share with your, uh, with your friends and relatives. Uh, it might help somebody uh, to help uh, you know, the family uh, to recognize these children of epilepsy and uh, help them. Thank you very much.